Schmanke. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog. We are at the bus stop. We are heading for a little date night. Um, so we got invited down to a restaurant on the quayside in Newcastle called Chart House. They've released a updated vegan slash vegetarian menu and they invited me down to test it. So I'm bringing Sean along. He's been a vegan for the night. Are you excited? Or vegetarian. <laughs> I think you'll get vegetarian. Oh, yeah, you'll probably go cheesy, won't you? But anyway, very excited. We're probably going to stay out and have a few drinks as well. Just There's a few Irish bars, which to be fair, I think about them all the time, but they're really disappointed with it. They're not what we wanted them to be. But there is a few nice bars in town, so we might stay out and have a few drinks and just see where the night takes. But, um, it's absolutely pissing down. We've just got back from Cyprus like two days ago where it was boiling hot and we'll come back to really bad rain so it just dulls your mood a little bit but yeah so emptied my case yours is all done in it nearly Nice. More or less back on track. My mum is actually going away on Sunday. So we have Dolly for 10 days. We're going to be looking after Dolly, who is my mum's dog. So you might remember her from when I used to live at my mum's. Dolly was in a lot of vlogs then. So she's going to be staying with us for 10 days. I'll probably be mixing between staying at my mum's, staying at our house with her. We're just going to say Dolly doesn't really settle that well without my mum and Neil. And she doesn't really settle that well not in her own house. So it could be a nightmare, couldn't it? She might cry Absolutely. a lot, but we're gonna just see how she gets on and I might have to stay at my mum's a few nights. But if I stay at my mum's, it's really good because the dogs, our dogs, Henry and Luna, can stay at my mum's with us because they're fine, they settle anywhere. Plus we took them at my mum's from being like really tiny so that that would be the case. They literally love it at my mum's, so yeah. So we'll sort something out, she'll be fine. and um, We'll go on lots of adventures with them and it'll be fine. My mum and Neil are like dead nervous to leave her. They haven't been on holiday in like, two three years so um they're quite nervous to like leave dolly and stuff because they don't leave her anywhere but yeah so that is what the plan is for next week and got a busy one but tonight we're just going to have a bit of a date night it's a friday go for a meal and see where the night takes for it which i'm quite excited for he's gone for a pint of madri these are the drink choices yeah plenty but i am a pint girl through and through sean has gone for the same this is the view absolutely beautiful of newcastle seaside right this is the aubergine fritters they actually look really nice i think we're going to do half and half because sean's is fully vegan as well he's gone for the cauliflower skewers i actually love cauliflower based dishes so i think these are going to be so good look at this crispy aubergine it literally looks like chicken wings i'm so excited and then i've got black rice on the side and sean has gone for this which is a goat's cheese tagliatelle it actually looks good look at these mini little yeah. cheese oh looks delish I feel like it's got an acquired taste, doesn't it? Alright. See what he thinks then, first bite. Flavour's melting in your mouth. Is it like? Is it good? Yeah. Sean's warm apple tart. And my cayman pie. Looks delicious. I don't think I've had a vegan cayman pie. I'm excited to give it a go. I'm using this double lead on Henry and Dolly because them two are a bit more on the same level when it comes to walks and exploring and Luna's on a little one. We're going to be meeting Jess, um, Jess has her friend Steph's dog Marv so we're going to be meeting and all walking to the field together and just having a bit play and then me and Jess are going to go for a Toby Carvery once we've like dropped the dogs and that back off so it'll be nice to see her because I haven't seen her in a while but these were getting restless in the house so I've just start like came onto the bit of field here and we're just gonna wait for Jess and Marv and then head to the field. Got Luna, like my bag doesn't close because it's got Luna's ball in and she needs a ball, like especially if she's gonna have a run. Um, and she's a bit temperamental with dogs she doesn't know. So I'm gonna see what she's like with Marv, but I think she'll be okay with her ball and stuff. a nice walk with all the dogs luna's a little bit temperamental um but she was really canny with marv she didn't like she's not temperamental but she can be funny with other dogs um but she was okay so yeah i've just pulled up outside of toby carvery i think jess is here as well so i'm just going to go in and we are going to get a carvery and i'm so excited but it's absolutely pissing down but i'm really excited because toby carvery is one of my favorite places i love it by the way i get the veg carvery or the um like vegan pie thing obviously 
I know people will go, oh my God, you're a vegan and a carvery is your favourite place. Like, no, I don't like the meat side of it. I just like the actual veg and stuff, okay? is boiling and I am ready to have my fifth cup of coffee of the day not coffee tea because oh my god what's this what's this what's this I'm ready to have my fifth cup of tea of the day kettle is brewing because you know it's one of them days sometimes you need more tea than other days right I've been working on scrap shirt I've been doing product photos all day and it's five o'clock but yeah, it's probably one of the worst things about owning a business is actually taking the photos, like the product photos. I don't particularly enjoy it, but it's got to be done or else how are you going to show people what you've got in stock? But yeah, I have a whole bunch of stuff coming in stock for kind of Christmas. Not Christmas themed items, but stuff you could buy as gifts. Um, so I've been getting them product photos done. I'll show you some of the stuff a bit later in this vlog. Charlie? Oh, you're so pretty. You're such a pretty sissy. I love you so much, I do, I do, I love you sissy, look at how great her little face has got, she's got a blankie on the floor in the office because she does like to be everywhere that I am, don't you, you just like to sit with us and watch us and cry because you're missing your mum and dad and I know you are, I know you are, you know. But they love you so much, but they're just on a happy holiday. So my mum and Neil are actually away, so I have Dolly for 10 days. My mum watches the pups all the time, and the pups are so chill. Like, they will literally just settle at my mum's. They don't really care. Dolly, on the other hand, is a little bit of a crybaby, not going to lie. She cries a lot. She misses her mum and dad a lot. And to be honest, my mum and Neil haven't been away in about three years so the last time they went away I was still living at home at my mum's house and basically just looked after Dolly there this time I obviously have my own house so I have brought Dolly up to my house and she's settling the first night was rough fresh I had a bit of a rough run but she's getting better aren't you sissy she's like no I'm actually not <laughs> she went off our food the first day and um didn't really drink anything but i do keep taking it at my mom's house just for comfort for a few hours i am looking after the parrot as well so the parrot obviously needs fed and watered and all of that um so we are going back to her house but um she is obviously staying here with us because i'm not going to leave her to stay there by herself so she's staying here but she's okay she's been a good girl um so i I've been taking product photos. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some stock that's going to be launching um, probably within the next few weeks on Scrap Chat, which I'm very, very excited about. And then I have some PR parcels, which I opened yesterday, and I think I'll show you them as well. So, I have a range of mugs launching, which I'm very excited about because I feel like, although Scrap Chat is a stationary company, the one rule of scrapbooking is always have a cup out. You've always got to have a brew. Um, so yeah, I, I've got some mugs launching. We'll have a spaniel themed mug, which I'll pop the photo of on the screen because it's in its box and everything and you can't actually see it. But then we also have some cat themed mugs. I just have a whole bunch of mugs launching, which I'm very excited about. But the thing that I'm most excited about is our planners. So... We we'll have daily planners launching and I absolutely love the segments on this daily planner in particular. So you date it yourself so that obviously if you forget it and come back to it, it never kind of goes out of date. You date it yourself and then you have here today's focus. Everything you want to focus on, little notes you might want to leave yourself, a little mini to-do list for that day. Who's texting us? Then you can also monitor your mood as well and then here you can also add more notes. So this is one of our planners that's launching. I think it's absolutely beautiful. But then we'll also have the mini handbag planner. This one is Paris themed and it's super mini, 
so it can remind you of things you need to do when you're out and about it's easy for your handbag um so yeah this is the mini paris one which is again super cute in my opinion and then we'll have a longer desk weekly planner so this one is a one that you would keep on your desk and you can also do your meal planning in this one as well so if you look at the end here you can plan your meals but then you have every single day so you can prioritize what you want to get done that day oh my god we have so much of them and then i also have these planners launching so we have this colour combination of a planner. I really like it. It's like the pastels with the blues and the pink. And we'll have day top priorities for tomorrow. Don't forget notes. And then a little checklist down the side. This one also comes in a sage green colour like this. Beautiful, if you ask me. Um, so I have them. I just need to do like a stock check in terms of like quantities and everything which I haven't done yet and then I need to do the listings for the website and then this pro product I'm super excited about I actually have one myself and I use it all of the time it's an erasable notebook slash whiteboard it looks like this it's so slim to put in your handbag take to work with you um this is what it looks like and I've, we've only stocked the black ones initially I'm going to see like if people are interested in them so basically it's just like this and when you open it you have two sides so you can write whatever you want so each erasable notebook will come with a pen which has a nice little slot so it just sits nicely um, and it folds and it's always there and then they will all come with an eraser um, to scrub off whatever you want as well but yeah these are so cute they're really sustainable in terms of like using loads of paper and stuff you don't because you just write down what you need to know and then you can wipe it off so yeah um i actually love these to be fair i give me mom one and she loves it as well so these are also going to be launching and yeah i'm just super duper excited about everything that we've got coming up in scrap share i just can't believe how much in the space of like owning the business in two months it's advanced like I never I don't know like I just didn't expect it to advance the way that it has um and be as popular like I feel really big-headed saying that but I just never expected the amount of like sales and everything Scratch has had um so we've also done that and I think I can't a hundred percent can't remember 100% if I showed you the new Brandon, but we do have Brandon now, um, which gets, the packaging has just got a whole lot better as well since I started. So like you get like proper notes, a thank you card, we've got stickers, it's all themed like scrapture. Whereas when I first started the business, the parcels weren't. But I think that's the thing with owning a business, like everything develops over time. The business gets better, the products get better, the management gets better, everything gets better over time. Um, and I think that's something that is hard to remember when you start a business because there's so many small businesses and there's also that expectation of having a business as an influencer where people expect a certain standard of things and as much as I want to deliver on that standard this is a very small business and every single thing that I'm doing with Scrapshot at the minute is a learning curve and is going to be for the next year two year I mean even I think the whole duration of owning a business you're continuously going to be learning and that is definitely something that I've struggled with because it's like this idea of wanting to be perfect and be this amazing business owner and have all these expectations but then there's the reality of like this is a brand new business and it takes time and things will grow in their own time um so yeah it's just been like that side of owning a business as well as something that is like something I didn't really think of um but we're getting there and I'm really just enjoying the journey to be honest like everything from like learning about owning a business um the website like everything is just enjoyable and a great learning experience for me personally and there's avenues in which I want to take the business in the future there's things and ideas that I have and I'm just really excited and I'm also going to be sending out some PR packages this week which is crazy but there's two influencers in particular who I watch and the um scrapbook I know the scrapbook I've seen them feature in their vlogs and that before and I asked them if I could send them a PR package and they were like oh I'd love this so I'm getting them sent out as well which is another really really exciting step for the business now I said I don't expect anything in return because I know being an influencer myself that I can get overwhelmed with small businesses wanting us to send things and I will always 100% try my best to give exposure but I 
don't want the people that I'm sending PR packages to ever feel like it's compulsory to give exposure. I just want them to enjoy the product and if they can give me personally genuine feedback on the brand or products then that's something I'd really appreciate um, because then I can learn from that and grow and look at like people's genuine feedback. But yeah, so there's just a lot going on and I think Scratch has just taken over my life a little bit at the moment, but in a really good way. I do have a few behind the scenes things which I'm working on as well. The travelling looks like is coming to a stop for the minute and we are going to potentially be going somewhere in November. It's still in the works, we're still planning it, but I'm very excited about that. It would be a UK trip with the dogs, um, which I love trips like that. But next year we have a lot of travel plans as well. So yeah, but I'm so fortunate with all the travelling we've done this year it was a bit different to what we expected with the virgin cruises coming up and the opportunities with them coming up were kind of unexpected like we didn't expect to get them opportunities so they overtook some other travel plans we had but honestly I don't regret it for a minute because they were the best weeks of our entire life Cyprus was amazing as well and so wholesome getting to watch our friends get married and I'm going to get a cup out so I'm going to bring you a chat sorry I feel like I just haven't actually like Cap, like like just chatted in a while and caught up so I just feel like I'm having a bit of a natter with you um but yeah watching our like Sean so basically if you didn't see the Cyprus vlog I've just been to Cyprus and Sean's best friend Lewis got married to Jody and it was the most wholesome beautiful wedding ever and it's definitely made us want to not like hurry the wedding but be more proactive for planning it We've been like on and off, on and off with planning the wedding for so long now, for so many reasons, wanting to prioritise spending money on other things, feeling like a wedding had to be a certain way, but speaking to so many people in, in Cyprus who've been married, and there was a couple we met there, Kat and Sean, who I, we didn't actually meet them there, we knew them before, but we got close to them in Cyprus, Kat and Sean, um, and I honestly like love them as people, I think they're amazing people, and they would tell them all about how they did their wedding day and I was just really inspired by it. I really liked the sound of their wedding. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot to think about. We do want to get married at some point. But I think as well, a lot of wedding planning is always left to like the women. <laughs> like I'm just not, I'm just not, I don't know, there's something and I'm like, oh, just... I love Sean a bit, obviously. We've been together 11 years. It's not that I don't want to commit to him. It's just like, Jodie had put so much thought and effort and time into planning our wedding. And I'm like, I'd rather put that thought, time and effort into travelling, into like renovating, into other things. But we do want to get married. So I feel like this head argument of like, I want to get married, but I also want this and this. And yeah, I'm just the type of person that I feel like wants too much from life and has like don't know like expectations of myself I don't know it's weird it's weird you know anyway I keep Dolly's food is in here while she's staying here and I keep really tripping on it because she won't eat um like when Henry and Luna are next to her I'm not really sure why but there's no like food aggression or anything between the three of them and that's like I'm really grateful for that because obviously that would be a nightmare Right, I do actually, it's quarter past five. At about half five, I'm gonna show, start Sean's tea. I had a really late lunch, so I'm not sure that I'm actually gonna have tea, but I will put him some stuff in for finishing work. Right, so we have Dolly Doodles, who's came into the living room to snuggle. We have Henry, who is lying down snuggled. And we'll have Luna, who's snuggled. All snuggled. Um, we've just been on a massive W, I'm not going to say the full word because just case the jump up, um, about an hour and a half ago we went to the field and they all had a good run so they're shattered. Right, I'm going back into the office, got me cut back. I got some PR stuff that I was going to show you but it's not very organised so I think I'll just leave that at the moment, maybe for another day or later on in the vlog. Right, I really need to get this admin done. I am procrastinating and I have far too many website windows open, which really aggravates us. I hate having too many stuff open at the same time. The latest page in my travel scrapbook is complete. It was Ireland when we went this year. Um, I have included an envelope in this one with loads of bits that I collected while we were there because I just felt like my page 
didn't have enough room for everything so I've got that on as well but I'm finally going to do something that I've been putting off and I don't really know why I've been putting it off I'm going to actually design the front of my travel scrapbook because it's bare I've never done anything with it and I fancy doing something like scrapbook related so I thought you know what let's let's eventually do the front because I want to put like I have an idea of what I want to do but let's just see what I end up going with I always say with scrapbooking there's no rules and that's so true. It's so good for your mental health because there's no pressure with it. Make it your own and do what you want. So when I start any new page I like to have a look at the page and decide what decor papers I'm going to use. So yeah decor paper is the backing paper that you'll use on the page to kind of fill the brown, black or white page with some sort of decor. Now a lot of people do like to fill the full page with decor paper. You don't have to do this. Um, it's totally up to you but I do prefer to make sure that the full page has kind of got a lot of colour and lots of different things to look at. Now I was choosing between different map decor papers. If you buy my travel with me starter kit you always get map included because I just feel like maps are such a great decor paper for travel scrapbooks. I personally love using them in mine and I decided for the front page I wanted the decor paper to be map orientated so I'm just using my glue pen to stick in the um ones that are selected in different places and just scattering them around the page making sure they kind of fit and look nice and the where I want them to be. I am sticking in here a vintage style passenger label thing that I found at a car boot sale and honestly this would be classed as um, ephemera or embellishment and they're really good for giving your page like added extras. These are fake board and passes that you can see I've just placed on the top of the book now and if you order my travel with me scrapbook you do get some of these included um, but yeah I just really like the aesthetic of having board and passes on a travel scrapbook. I personally think it's just really nice. I don't have neat handwriting at all so I always use lettered stickers or stencils to write what I want to write. I am using backing paper just because I thought with my page being so chaotic and the stickers being quite small if I was just to stick them directly on top of my deco paper I feel like they would have got a bit lost so I decided to use some um, coloured backing paper and I went with green and pink just to make the letters stand out and readable and then my letters that I chose as you can see are very patterned and chaotic. As you can see I very much want this to be eye-catching chaotic and a bit messy to some people but this is just how I wanted the front of my travel scrapbook to look and I feel like it's quite eye-catching and I'm really happy with how it turned out at the end which you'll see I found somebody, I say you don't cross my mind. And then to fill up my page, I'm going in with a bunch of vintage stamps that I had from a car boot sale. You do also get some vintage stamps in my Travel With Me scrapbook starter kit on Scrapshare's website. And then I had a whole bunch of travel stickers that I'd been collecting for my own personal travel scrapbook. So I was just sticking these in places to make the page look really full. And um, some of the places I've already been like Paris and um, New York, some of the places I haven't, but we've got to do a bit of manif manifestation, you know? So um, yeah, I'm just just stick in the Statue of Liberty and lots of places, stickers, just to fill my page. I like my pages to look really full. I know some people when the scrapbook like their pages to look like structured and neat, but as you can see, 
As you can see, that's not my scrapbook and style. I'm honestly really happy with the way it turned out. It's very chaotic and that's what I wanted from this. I wanted it to be chaos. I wanted it to be fun and I feel like I've definitely achieved that. What I had in my head is definitely being portrayed on the page and I'm loving it. Yeah, really excited about this. I did an ASMR version of designing the full page over on my ASMR channel. It's Scrap Shaz Business YouTube, but I'll have it linked below if you want like an ASMR version of me designing this page. And I've also got a full flick through of my travel scrapbook on my ASMR YouTube as well. If you like there's something that you'd be interested in, I'll have the ASMR channel linked below. But I'm really happy with the front page. I wanted it to be like really chaotic and just kind of look at it and be like wow there's a lot going on and I definitely feel like I've achieved that. I'm very very happy. So I have just been playing around with the website a little bit. This is the home page. I want to kind of do something different here but I haven't quite discovered what I want to do but I have just added a few pages on. So we'll have the scrapbook starter kits. This is all of the starter kit themes. We'll have the mixed bag theme. This is a little mix of every single theme if you're not exactly sure what you want to do. All the starter kits come in three sizes. So you have the ultimate kit which is £35, the simple kit which is £23 and then you have the top up kit which is £16 and the description tells you what's included. Um, so the ultimate you get all of this and then the simple you get this and the top up you get this and this is just some like need to know information. We'll have two reviews on this product. I love it when people leave reviews just because it means a lot. Um, so yeah, on the starter kits we have the mix bag, the travel with me, the vintage is me, all about love, baby love. And then this is like a vintage style small starter kit. And then this is also another vintage small starter kit. This is a happy birthday theme and this is a spring theme. And then I've got the Marie May starter kit and then the floral power starter kit. So they're the main things that Scrap Shash sell is the starter kit. But then we'll have sticker bundles as well. So at the minute we'll have some vintage embossed stickers. Uh, they're only £2.50 and they're such high quality gorgeous stickers. I've just uploaded an autumn sticker bundle. I think it's honestly stunning. I really love it. You've got like your cosy jumpers, your candles. Like ah, it's so cute. Um, But yeah, and this is only £3.99 for the full for the full bundle. I also have scrapbooks as well. I do have vintage scrapbooks. I've only got three left in stock. We'll have the newborn. So this is literally um, a vintage scrapbook for children and it also has quite a lot in it. So it has like decor papers, ephemera and embellishments already in it. And this is only £12. Back to scrapbooks, I've got um, a purple vintage scrapbook and a green sage scrapbook. People say they're photo albums, they're not. Years ago, this is how scrapbooks were. Um, basically, this is what they looked like, where you would design a page, cut it to fit, and it would go in these clear pockets. And to be honest, it makes sense because it does actually protect your pages, whereas the scrapbooks you use these days, the ring binding ones, your pages can get damaged quite easily. Um, but yeah, I do have a few more vintage scrapbooks on the way, but for now, this is all we've got stocked. I also do sell adult colouring books, so we've got dog lovers, inspiring places, um, Peaceful Moment, Creative as Me, and then Fabulous Flowers. Collage kits, we'll have Words and Sayings and the Pretty Collage Kit in stock. Planners, I've just put the planners up tonight, so we'll have the reusable notebook, which I talked to you about earlier, but this is basically um, the notebook where it's whiteboards and you can get rid of your stuff um sorry guys it's really late it's literally like well it's only half 11 but i keep having mind blanks so we'll have this one this is the pink daily planner i honestly love the like aesthetic of this one and then i also have the sage green planner these are only six pounds as well and then other planners will have this one keep a beige planner this one's beautiful and i like how it's got like little clip art on it and then I also have the mini handbag planner, which is Paris themed. So cute. And then lastly, we have the weekly planner. This is the desk planner and it also has a section for your meals. I know I showed you this earlier, but I'm just kind of showing you it on the website. 
journal wise obviously this erasable notebook could be used as a journal as well if you just wanted to kind of write your thoughts down and then rub it away you could do that and then I also have the thankful journal still in stock mugs have just gone live tonight I love a mug selection we'll have the lavender garden mug the Florence mug and coaster cat lovers mug this one is so cute it reminds us of my friend Jess because She's a cat lover. Um, and then we'll have the cat tree mug. We do have loads of mugs coming, but these are just the first ones. This one actually comes with a coaster, but none of the others do. And then I have the Springer Spaniel mug. This is what they look like. And then gifts. I've kind of collaged items onto a section on the website. Gifts, what I thought would be good gifts for Christmas, but we do have some Christmas themed stuff coming up as well. And then other items is the mystery kit. Uh, this is actually out of stock. The capture that deco paper set it will be coming back in stock, but it is out of stock at the moment. We'll have the vintage feel luxury storage wallet, the rose punch out pack. And then I also set live tonight the embellishment autumn ready kit. Um, and then we'll also have the contact section on the website where you can contact us with your name, your email, your phone number and your comment. I get an email direct when you do use this form and I can direct direct. I can reply directly to your email. So if you have any inquiries about custom scrapbook starter kits or anything like that, this is the best place to go. But I'm really proud of this website. Like I did it myself with no experience. With Cat Shopify, of course, make it easy to do a website, but there was still a lot you need to learn and a lot that you know you have to figure out yourself um i've just realized though i need to take my head i know off because i'm now up to date with orders so i'm just going to quickly do that so how do i do it see i'm still learning i'm still just like i don't know anyway i am going to end this vlog here because once i've edited this segment of the vlog i am going to be going to bed and i'll be starting a new one tomorrow but thank you so much for clicking on this video and spending another evening with us i really hope you enjoyed it and let us know what type of content you would like to see on the vlogs do you want to see more about scrapshire do you want to see more about scrapbooking do you want to see less business stuff more about my dogs my family life my home life do you want to see just what do you want to see? let us know i'd love to hear your feedback but again, I'm going to let you go and I'll see you very shortly for another one. Bye.